Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gearhead 426 channel. I am still working on the diesel beetle and I hate the fact that I'm still working on the freaking diesel beetle. I'm tired of this thing, I really am. Uh, cooling fans do need to be replaced because low speed's not working. Uh, but my AC compressor is also dead. It's like everything's just happening at once. I feel like every vehicle that I have, I go through, uh, I go through like a phase where they're just like a straight up freaking lemon. And then after that, they're like extremely reliable. I had that same issue with the truck. I've had the same issue with the Beetle. I mean, if you guys follow my channel, or look at the beginning of it, this thing was breaking down once a week. Uh, I'm currently having the same issues with the Nissan. Right away, if you guys follow my channel, you'll know that I pulled the entire uh, intake system apart on the Nissan. And it readjusted the suspension, and did this, and did that. I mean, there was a lot. Yes, I know it's dirty. That's because I'm in Florida, and there's a lot of pollen. And the Nissan is also currently broke again. Two sensors that I need to replace. A cam position sensor, and the uh, air fuel ratio sensor, uh, sensor one, bank one, which everybody always has that issue. I did do the ECU reset. I actually did it twice light still kept coming on for it so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it I have those parts coming in that will be in a different video uh, but right now I am pulling apart the entire diesel beetle um, so I can put in the new AC compressor which we have right here uh, this came in like a kit we have a new block uh, the right oil pretty much all of the overings I don't even I don't even think I'm going to use all of these. I mean, this looks like a lot. Um, new compressor, of course, and a new dryer. So far, what it looks like to me is that the hardest part of this is going to be replacing the dryer, which is like right, right down there. Just because of how crammed it is, it looks like it's going to be the hardest one, at least just to get this top bolt. Um, AC compressor should be easy and replacing the block should be a big deal. I've already drained the lines, so so now I just need to go ahead and get to it. Uh, you gotta take the belt off, take the compressor off, blah, 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 etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and as things happen, I'll keep you guys informed. All right, so everything actually came out very, very smooth. I was expecting this to be a problem. I was expecting um, issues. But compressor came out all right. Had to pry it a little bit. Uh, I already have the block out. I'm not sure what this guy's called. I don't do AC work that often. I do replace parts, but I've never actually pressurized or vacuumed a system before. So this is all new to me, but everybody's got to start somewhere. Um, but I have that out. I have the, where's the old one at? There it is. I have the dryer out. I didn't have to take out the headlight. Only reason why I took it out is because I didn't know where the dryer was. I couldn't find it at first, and I thought it was underneath it. But I have to put that back in. Um, now I'm just replacing all the O-rigs, and I went and I washed my hands, because you want to be clean when doing this. You want to try to minimize the amount of contaminants that get into the AC system, so that you don't, you know, mess stuff up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to that. But like I said, new o-rings putting them in and i have the new block down there which is awesome which uh this should stop the ring noise that i used to get all the time when running the ac uh it was something like that like a rigging or a buzzing noise that i used to get kind of sound like like a buzzing slash screaming noise but this should be god because this old one looks pretty messed up so yeah, let's uh, let's keep it going. Okay, so I'm actually making really good time. I probably like started this project around nine o'clock. Like I want to say died to nine thirty ish, and it's only eleven fifty. I already have everything back together, which is super awesome. I am currently vacuuming out the system. Uh, you want to vacuum out the system for a minimal of thirty minutes. I'm actually doing it for uh, forty five minutes. And you want to make sure that it's over 27 HG or halogen. And I am currently sitting at 29 halogen. 
Uh, whenever it's all done vacuuming out, you know, you let it sit for 30 minutes, let it do its thing. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess. I did have to change out a connector on the AC because it came with the wrong connector, not a problem. But besides that, haven't really ran into very many issues. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing do its thing and clean everything up. All right, so diesel beetle's finally fixed. I have to go ahead and drop these guys off. AC is nice and cold. All of a sudden the cooling fan started working, so I don't know what's going on with that. But cooling fans are now working, which is super awesome. All the problems are fixed. I am happy. Um, I will say though, for when the bug did actually break down for the AC system, I'm happy that it happened now in February instead of in, let's say, you know, uh, late March, May, April. Like, I'm happy it happened now because I live in Florida. This is a place where you need AC. You, there's no way you could get by without AC here. Um, unless you just feel like sweating all the frickin' time, and that sucks. Check out my man. So, Diesel Beetle is fixed. I'm happy about that. First time I've ever actually charged an AC system and I did a pretty good job at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop all these things back off at AutoZone um, because I did the whole rent -to tool thing, which I always suggest. And I will catch up with you guys later. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you were stopping by for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I hope you're having a great day.